We are Sean, Emma, Rex and Maggie and our motorhome Rennie and together we are the Search 365. Welcome to episode 5 of our Northern England tour. So we're currently on... <laughs> <laughs> We're currently going to die. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> start again. So we're currently on the road to uh, Keswick. Uh, we're going to go up there and stay at the caravan and camping site in Keswick for a few days. This is a bit of a hairy road though. It's not so bad this end, or we're just coming up uh, to Grasmere, I think. One of the lakes anyway. Um, yeah, so it was a bit hairy from Coniston up to Ambleside, but then once you're through Ambleside, this road is a little bit better. Um, we're just going past Grasmere, Grasmere Lake. Yeah, Grasmere. Looks beautiful, I'll show you in a minute. Um, yeah, and we're, so we're going up there for a few days, um, hopefully to do a bit of mountain biking at Winlatter Forest and maybe get some more um, time on the water as well because I think there's a launch onto Derwent Water from the campsite which is pretty cool um, and maybe we'll get a hike in as well. So it's really busy around here, I mean there's literally people everywhere isn't there? Yeah. yeah. It's crazy busy. It's nice to see so many people out enjoying the, you know, great British outdoors. But we wish they'd all go home so we could have it to that to ourselves. But never mind. Never mind, eh? Can't have everything. So uh, yeah. So I'll, I'll try and do a few clips of the lakes as we go up towards Keswick, and then we'll see you in Keswick. <laughs> One thing we had to do as soon as we arrived at the campsite was to celebrate Rex's seventh birthday with a balloon and some cake. After a good night's sleep we were ready for a new day and decided to head up to Winlatter Forest to check out the hiking and biking trails. The forest is about a 10 minute drive from Keswick. So today we are heading up to Winlatter, Winlatter Forest Park. So um, we've just started up on the B road in the big van so we'll see how we get on. I think it might be quite hilly so we'll see. It's not that far, it's about one and a half miles. Just got off the main road, so hopefully it won't be too bad. I think 
get somewhere to park. I'll just say, show you the roads in case anybody else wants to come mountain biking and they've only got a, a motorhome. Um, so I'll just spin it around. You can see it's probably about one and a half cars wide. Today um, we've made our way up to Winlatter, sorry, Winlatter Forest Trail, and me, Moo, and Rex are going to take on, I think, what's it called? House Seat. So this is marked as strenuous. It's only three and a half miles, but we'll see how we get on. That means it's going to be steep. So we're going to take on. This hike today Sean's gone off on his bike um, as you can see the weather's not great but it's still quite warm so we'll see if we can see some nice views anyway and hopefully it'll clear up at the top that's the first steep climb and we found a gruffalo not sure whether Rex is gonna like it oh no he's ignoring it and this is our first view whoa look at that it's a bit cloudy, we can see right down into the valley. So that's not too bad, first uh, mile or kilometre maybe. Um, it's just a big uphill sweaty fire road. Um, it's a little bit rainy, it's like a very misty rain. But there's uh, a lot of midges. Got the smidge on before I came out. And so far it seems to be working, so um, yeah. up to the top um, I think this is the highest point of the walk and it's very grey so you're not going to be able to see much unfortunately but you can see the view down there it's pretty amazing I'll just carry on going round and you've got right down there towards the valley and then back round here I think we're carrying on going through this forest area here. Yeah. So, how long have we been walking? I don't know, probably only about an hour so far. So, yeah, still worth it even in the rain. making our way down now probably back to the visitor center eventually um, just bumped into Sean on the trails a bit of a crossover and it was just just a really good timing that we ended up being in the same place at the same time he seems to be having fun on the red I think he's doing uh, on the main trail but every time you stop <laughs> you get attacked by midges it's probably the weather because it's quite wet today. Well, it's not that wet, it's just drizzly, you know? So I think we said it earlier, I think Winlatter Forest is 
a mountain forest. I think it's the only mountain forest in England, maybe possibly the UK, I'm not sure, probably England, because um, we don't have too many mountains in England, uh, more like hills. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is a proper mountain forest. Um, and it certainly lives up to that. Um, we've been to a few mountain forests in our time and uh, it certainly is. Oh, they too have spotted something. What have you spotted? Uh, um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Parking space. Oh look, Daddy's back his bikes there. Ooh. There we go. And oh, we've got neighbours. Yay! We've got neighbours. There we go. There we go, and we're back. <sighs> Winletta Forest has two graded mountain bike trails, a blue and a red. I decided to take on the red trail which is split into a north and a south loop and these are some of the highlights. good yeah uh, the first trail the north loop is about twice as long as the south loop the north loop is more undulating so you don't just go up and down uh, whereas the south loop you go up and then you come down so there's more jumps and burns on the down um, but yeah the grading red is about the same as uh, Curry de Brennan so yeah you know but uh, trail centre red there, so yeah, it's good. Yeah, really good. Enjoyed it. No injuries this time. No injuries, fully padded up. <laughs> so yeah, it's all good. Yeah, really enjoyed it. It was good. I'll definitely come back. Winlatter Forest is well worth a visit if you're in the area. The walking trails and biking trails are excellent, and on a sunnier day, the views would be spectacular. There is one tight section on the way to and from the forest, but the road is pretty quiet, so most people should be able to access the forest in a larger vehicle. What are you doing? Yeah, so basically we got attacked by midges in Winlatter Forest and they're proper little biting ones as well. 
and uh, we had a few in here. So I actually saw, who was it? Kieran and Alice, wasn't it? On their YouTube channel? I'm not sure. Yeah, it was. And they had, they used a handheld hoover and a torch to kind of entice the midges towards the light and then she hoovered them up. So I thought that's a really good idea, but obviously it's light at the moment. So I've just basically been going around the van and if I spot one, I'm sucking it up into my excellent Dyson. Dyson Trigger. Dyson V7 Trigger. This is the best thing since sliced bread. Brilliant for dog hair. Brilliant for midges. Brilliant for everything really. Forest gump. I mean, I've just given the, the this was all covered in uh, stuff and yeah, just giving it a quick hoover, nice and easy to empty, battery operated. So yeah, perfect camper van or motorhome hoover this is. Perfect. Next time on episode 6 of our Northern England tour, we take a stroll around the beautiful Derwent water and give you a mini tour of the Camping and Caravan Club site in Keswick.